Hello, I'm Karen Algizma at Claremont Secondary, surrounded by the talented cast of Legally Blind, and you're watching Go Island on SHOT TV. On today's show, chic bike wear and accessories that will make you look stylish on two wheels, social media tips, and how one senior has turned his retirement into a new adventure. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island, where not only do we put the spotlight on our own community, but today we are going to highlight Claremont Secondary because they are doing a musical theater production titled Legally Blonde. Colin, I remember seeing this movie in what, 2001? Loved it. And now it's a musical. And it, you, I'm so excited that it's here, right at Claremont. Tell us, a, what, what's the premise of the, of the, the, the I mean, obviously if you've seen the movie, you know the premise, but for those who haven't, what's the premise? Sure, it's the story of Elle Woods, a young woman from Los Angeles who is the stereotypical blonde who we say probably isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. And she's in love with a man who dumps her and he's on his way to Harvard and doesn't think she's good enough. So in order to get him back, she decides that she's gonna go to Harvard too. When she gets there, she's uh, in for a bit of a rude awakening until she meets some people in her life who kind of show her that being blonde doesn't mean you have to act like you're not very smart. And so by the end of the musical, you have a story that's quite happy, but also has a message, even though it's quite satirical, that you don't have to be blonde and ditzy to get ahead. And I'm living proof of that, Colin. I am living proof. Now, one of the things that I say to people all the time is you do not have to go to New York City to experience entertaining, amazing musicals. Right here at Claremont, you can come see it. When's the show um, playing over the next week? We're running all this week at seven o'clock uh, until Saturday night, and we also have a 2 p.m. matinee this Saturday. And really, the, the caliber of the talent here at Claremont is extraordinary. I mean, so many of your students go on to become professional actors, musicians, um, you know, writers. It's, it's such a great school, such a great training ground. Is this a show that everybody should come out and see? Well, of course, I think every show we do, people should come out and see, but this one's very accessible. It's uh, set in the modern day, uh, and so people will not necessarily hear old chestnuts. The songs are probably songs they haven't heard before because they're not based on uh, American bandstand songs. These are original songs written for the musical. And yeah, we've had a tradition at Claremont over the years of having some very talented students who have gone on, and it's partly because we have this wonderful theater here at Claremont that it uh, allows us to put on shows, and then it creates a... Uh, a sort of uh, self-fulfilling prophecy that we do good shows in a good space. Yes. And so that's something that over the years we've uh, been able to work with. We are going to give you a preview of the show. We have a couple of the stars waiting on stage to sing to you, and then you'll absolutely have to get tickets. But first, uh, cycling season is upon us. And every time I see those gangs of cyclists go by with all their sp spandex, I think to myself, you know, if I could just get some sexy, chic, <laughs> cycling gear, I'd cycle. Well, Nikki Iwanishan has a story that might just change all of our minds about how to look hot when you're on your bike. Smell the grass as a rainstorm is ending. People smile while they stroll past their farms with a red-headed sailor named Brendan. And we dance without moving our arms. Did you hear that? Yes, you have to buy tickets to Legally Blonde, Claremont School, every night this week. There's also a matinee. That was amazing. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> um, you play Paulette. I do. Which is a, such a fun character. I love her. Absolutely. I tell the viewers a little bit about your character. She is a hairstylist at Harvard and when Elle has decided that maybe Harvard isn't quite what she was cut out for, she comes to the hair affair, my hair salon, and seeks hair advice. Affair. I know, the hair affair. How That's great. That? And I think, I would like to think that I'm her best friend in Harvard, and I think I'm the first person Elle really connects with. Yeah. She hasn't met anyone else that's like her in Boston yet. Now, how old are you, 17? I'm 17. 17, on her way to Queen's University in England. Hello. <laughs> Say that you knew her when. <laughs> um, who should come to this show? Everyone should. It's really a show for all ages, isn't it? It is. It's a feel-good show. You leave 
smiling and tapping your toes. I always say that the musicals that we put on here uh, at Claremont, but all over South Vancouver mm -hmm. Island, are so good. The caliber is so high. Come. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And it's one of those things, those shows that you really do. You leave and you're you're like, you know, tapping your toes and oh, yeah. you're feeling good and Oh yeah. Absolutely. People come up to me the next day singing the songs after seeing it once. And it's like, wow. That's, memorable music. <laughs> that's awesome. We're going to show you a few few more little sneak peeks of the show in a moment. But first, social media is such a huge part of our culture right now. But so many of us don't know how to use it properly. So Sachetta Singh sat down with a social media expert to give us some hints and tips on how to make sure that we are doing it right. Take a picture of this and tweet, come to Legally Blonde, Claremont School, hashtag awesome show. Um, we, we have to take a quick break, but stay with us because when we come back, our very own Paul Ballstein, our new VJ, has his very first story premiering on Go Island. Oh, you're going to want to watch it. Welcome back to Go Island. We are at Claremont Secondary on the set of Legally Blonde. I love that title. I don't know why. Maybe because I am Legally Blonde. Uh, we are standing next to the star of the show, Hi. Elle, <laughs> and she's going to sing us a little something in just a moment. But first, she is going to tell us about the next story, which is the very first time our very own Paul Ballstein, our new VJ, is going to be on the air. Oh, I love Paul. He is such a talented guy. Uh, tell us about the story, Elle. Absolutely. So John Darcy never quit working, although he did retire. He went from building buildings to creating independent living for seniors so they can stay home instead. Where are we standing right now, Elle? We're on the set of Legally Blonde at Claremont Secondary. That's right, two legal, legal blondes right now. <laughs> As for ID, we'll show it to you. That's right, right here. And mine's not a wig, let me just tell you. You can probably tell by the roots. We have to take a quick break, but stay with us because when we come back, the breakdown, always entertaining, and we're going to hear her sing. If you have any ideas for hot button topics for the breakdown, you know how to find us. You can follow us on Twitter, you can find us on Facebook, you can email us, you can let us know. And I do, I have an idea. Do blondes have more fun? Discuss that. And you know what the answer is, don't you? Yes, of course we do. And if you want to ensure that you're part of that fun, you're going to have to come to Legally Blonde, the musical theater production that will keep you singing all spring and all summer long right here at Claremont. Get your tickets now because they are going fast. Go to the number on the screen, go to the Claremont website, and you will get to experience a little bit of this. Take it away, girl. Wait a sec. This is the kind of girl Warner wants. Someone serious, someone lawyerly, someone who wears black when nobody is dead. Girls, I have a completely brilliant plan. <laughs> what you want, Warner, what you want is me. But you need to see me in a brand new domain. Well, it's plain, Warner, in a different setting. You will see you're getting all of this plus a brain. I'll meet you there at Harvard with the book in my hand. Big sturdy book, big wordy book, full of words I'll understand and write. There is where you'll see it too. Honor what you want is right in front. 